The Savage Curtain. This is season three of Star Trek, the original series. I'm almost done all of the Star Trek original series TV episodes. Um, we're going to review this one using my space system, story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between zero and two. Two's the best you can get. going to give the storyline a one. Um, Abraham Lincoln appears in his chair and all that in space. That's very weird. Um, I like the story here. It's good, but there's some weirdness like that. Um, this alien being wants to test good versus evil. Um, so it's determined that Abraham Lincoln, uh, Surak, uh, who's a Vulcan guy, and Kirk and Spock are good. And then these other guys are all bad guys. How is it determined that? I don't know. Um, I'm not. I don't. I'm not sure if the Klingons think that they're bad guys. Um, they think they're fighting for honor and all that, right? Or maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, so that's kind of loose. But why wouldn't they just go through time? It would have been cool if they went through time and actually got the real Abraham Lincoln. Like, you made these two facsimile additions to join Kirk's team, and then you made four facsimile bad guys. So why don't you just make four facsimile good guys and four facsimile bad guys and have them fight and see which is better? Like, why put two actual people's lives on the line and six facsimile people? I just thought that, that's, this is a bit nonsense. It's a cool idea. You know, pick your, this is basically um, the Koga Ninja Scrolls. Um, sorry, uh, was it Koga Ninja Scrolls? Yeah, uh, where it's like there's this, and they, they turn it into Basilisk where it's like the, you pick your 10 best guys, your, this ninja clan has 10 best ninjas, and then they pick their 10 best ninja, and then they fight it out. Um, it was a novel, it was a, it was, I have the novel, I've got the, uh, the, the, the manga, I've got the anime, I've got, there's a live action movie called Heart Under Blade. Um, so it's like, that's a cool idea, but it's just weird. Like, it's, it's two real people and the rest are all fake, so I don't understand. And this rock creature guy is kind of whatever. It's okay. One thing I did like, which is when Abraham Lincoln first appears, he talk, he sees Uhura and he says, oh, what a beautiful N word. He says the N word, but not the full bad N word, the, the, the more normalized one, I guess. And you're like, oh my God, he just, oh, he cancel him, cancel the guy, cancel, you gotta cancel this guy. And then they laugh, and then he even says to himself, he's like, oh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have said that word because you know that was used by uh, like slave owners and stuff like that. And Uhura's like, Ah, uh, it's like nobody cares. She's like, yeah, we've learned that words don't really have any any power over us, you know. And they just laugh it off like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the greatest thing that's ever happened in Star Trek. They need to play that to, to people now. It's like, play it right now. It's like, right. It's like, there's no intent. He wasn't being an a-hole. He was just saying the word. And he said it incorrectly. And he's even himself, he's like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. And they're just like, yeah, who cares? So just for that, I was almost going to give this a 10 out of 10 just for that one line. But anyway, so one pacing, I will give the pacing a 1.5 though, because um, it does move along quickly. It's like, okay, Lincoln's there, like what's going on? Then they're treating him as the real thing. They have a little conference and then it starts to amp up quickly because then they're transported to the, to the surface of that planet without their weapons. And you're like, oh, who are these other characters? You're like, oh, that's, this is crazy. So that is all really cool stuff. Uh, it goes by pretty fast. So I'll, I'll give it 1.5. Artistry, I'll also give it a 1.5 because, um, you know, they have they do have an alien. It checks my boxes, you know, alien planet. And there's a, there's an alien creature. He looks pretty good. You have a bunch of guys now. I like that Surak guy. He's pretty good to get to the characters. Um, you got the four bad guys. They all Everybody looks interesting and unique. So that's cool. I like that part of it. Give it a 1.5. For the characters, I was thinking between 1.5 and 2. Um, I'm going to stick with 1.5. So Kirk, Spock, obviously they're they're the best, um, but I usually go with how are the side characters. So you're always going to get a one out of in this category. Star Trek is always going to get a one because I love all these characters. But I'm torn. The alien is just kind of like I just feel like it's a bit nonsense. And we've seen this kind of thing before. It's they're putting them through a test, and you're like, eh, what is the point of this test? Like, did you show that good was better? I didn't. I don't. I don't get it. It's just it was weird. They did that Day of the Dove episode, which is sort of similar. Like you equal out the sides and you had them fight it out. You're like, I've already seen this. And in that one, it wasn't necessarily to have good versus evil. It was that the alien enjoyed the battle and conflict and wanted, 
you know, like war and, and, and pain and suffering to keep going to feed itself, that's a better reason than, oh, I want to test good versus evil with two real people and four facsimile people. Well, I'll give you two facsimile people to help you out. Two NPCs. Why am I, why is there six NPCs? It's just weird. But um, some of the villains were like, okay, I, I, they should have been a bit stronger um, a couple of them were okay, but I wasn't dying with them. I really, I did like Abraham Lincoln though. I thought he was pretty good. Um, and I liked uh, Surak. I thought that guy was really neat. The, this, this Vulcan kind of like priest or whatever he was. Uh, he's like, oh, the father of logic and all this stuff. I like that guy. He was, he was, he, he was really good. Um, for enjoying the factor, I'll give it a one. Look, I like this episode. It's fine. Um, I definitely, you know, would watch it again. It's not like I'm like, oh God, you know, there's nothing cringe in it. There's nothing cringe in it, and there's some neat things that go on, and the characters are kind of neat. So there you go. That's why I'm giving it a one. Um, so a grand total for this one is a 6.5 out of 10. Overall, I liked it. Um, it's a pretty decent season three episode. You know, if it was season two, it'd be on the lower end. But um, still really cool. So there you have it. Um, if you enjoy my space system, please like the video. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and check out my friend Clobber in Time's channel. Um, the link is in the description of this video and, and below. Uh, they do a Saturday night Star Trek uh, uh, review where they review four episodes of whatever Star Trek series they're on. I think they're still on Voyager. They might, they should be going to Enterprise somewhat soon. Um, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Live long and prosper.